My name is Asia Samson and today on Baptism Overland we are installing the Smittybilt Axe and Shovel Mount. Okay, so I don't know when you are watching this video, but in the time of us filming it, uh, we are currently going through a semi-lockdown due to the coronavirus. The world's kind of going crazy right now, panicking a little bit, and for good reason, right? Um, there's a lot of people that are sick, a lot of people that are dying, and really the best thing for us to do is to stay at home and, you know, try to prevent the virus from spreading even more. We don't want to be going out there and, you know, possibly infecting others or others possibly infecting us. And I knew that it was starting to get a little bit crazy because the other day I tried to buy some Wavy and Jerry cans and they were sold out everywhere. And I don't know if it's just coincidence that they're just sold out or if people are buying them up. You know, but the thing about pandemics and natural calamities like earthquakes and, you know, hurricanes and things like that is, you know, we say that we're prepared until something happens and then we realize we really aren't as prepared as we thought we would be. There are people out there I know who are like super extreme and are ready for anything, but I'm not one of those people. I've always wanted to have some jerry cans full of fuel. I mean, I don't know why I would need them in this scenario because we're not even supposed to go anywhere, but in the event that something does happen and they cut off our fuel and we need that, then I would like to have had some at least in the house. I do have some, you know, pl plastic containers um, to hold them, uh, but I figured, you know, this would be a good excuse to outfit the rig with some jerry cans and they were just sold out, right? So speaking of excuses to do things, um, since I've been at home and bored out of my mind, I was thinking to myself, all right, well, what kind of modifications can I do in this short amount of time? So we'll just do like a really quick install today, nothing too crazy. So what we're going to do is we're going to mount the shovel and the axe onto the roof rack. Now I was going to try to fabricate this stuff myself and uh, I realized as I started to shop around that there were actual mounts out there that would have already been built and would have probably cost me the same amount as me, you know, kind of fabricating my own. And what I ended up found, finding was the Smitty Built uh, Axe and Shovel. Uh, mount, uh, which is great because the texture on this actually looks the same as the rock rails I have from them. So I think it'll match really well. Uh, basically what you get okay. is you get the mounting plate. This is the mounting plate that goes against your roof rack. The shovel goes on the bottom or axe and then the other axe or shovel goes at the top. And then you get the cover plate and then this basically just goes right in there locks both of them in place and then what's really cool is that you just tighten them up with some uh, wing nuts and then in the middle you have a little hoop where you can put a padlock so that no one can take it. But then on the back basically you get these brackets and then this bracket would just mount this way and then you would put it on your roof rack that way. So the issue that I'm having with these brackets um, is that Smitty Built built this for the Smitty Built Defender roof rack and I'm sure that on their roof rack it works perfectly right so imagine on the side of a roof rack you have the bottom rail and then you have the top rail and normally this probably on their defender would sit right perfectly like that and then this would act as a support so that when you put your screws through here and hold and clamp the the front piece and this piece together this would like hold it in place and then it would just stay rigid the Garvin Expedition roof rack works a little bit differently. Um, this is a, actually a little too tall for the roof rack sides that I have because one bar is like right here, the other bar is like right there. So this doesn't actually, the width of this, it doesn't match up. And then on top of that, the space between my two rails, there's too much play on here. But it's a really, really easy fix. Um, what I ended up doing was just drilling an extra hole. So imagine that this is the, the bottom rail of my roof rack. I'm just going to let this sit on the bottom rail so that there's some support there. Then I drilled an extra hole here at the bottom and then I made the corresponding second hole on the back of this as well. And so now I'm just going to let it um, drill down here and then I use the other hole, the regular hole that they have, and I should be able to hold it in place. The only other problem I have though is that the thickness of this is actually slightly thicker than the thickness of my rails. So if this sticks out a little bit and I try to clamp it on here, well now the rail for my roof rack is going to be too thin and this thing is going to have a lot of rattling and then it's probably going to slide up and down the roof rack. So how I'm going to do that was I ended up getting some 3M tape and because the 3M tape is slightly a little bit thicker, I just put some on the back. This will just basically glue up against the side of the roof rack. This will go 
on the back and that should be able to hold it in place and I'm sorry this way that should be able to hold it in place and then it shouldn't move and then I'll have you know the bolts that go through this it'll be resting on one of the vertical um, supports on my on the top of my roof rack and that will keep it from sliding anywhere super easy um, I'm not really gonna go much into it I'm just gonna show you how I install it and uh, should be done and should look pretty good so let's install it Okay, so the install is done. I think it looks great. It's super secure, but I wish I could say it was simple. And why is that, you ask? I mean, it should be straightforward, right? You put the mount up there, put the axe, put the shovel, you're good to go. I wish it were that easy, but it wasn't. In case you missed it, let's rewind the video and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, boom. See that? Right there. If you notice, I didn't use any of the pre-drilled holes that were on this mount. Now originally, I had drilled a couple of holes myself at the bottom and I told you that in the beginning because that was the only way for me to make it fit between the two bars that were on my roof rack. That was fine. Got it up there, fit perfectly, mounted just fine. But as soon as I tried to put the shovel onto there, I just could not get it to stay and it was loose. And the reason why is because in their pre-drilled holes, the bolts stick into the area where you're supposed to put the shovel. So it kept getting in the way. Those thick bolts, the head of them, kept getting in the way of the shovel. Now, if I were to have designed this thing, then I would have probably used thinner head bolts, um, you know, and or maybe ones that were flat, or just weld them to the back the same way you welded the one to the front that the front plate goes on to. If you would have just welded it to the back the same way, we would have had no problems, right? But because of the way it was designed, the bolts that were inside were getting in the way of whatever you're trying to mount in there. So what I ended up doing, the two welded bolts that were pointing outwards, I drilled two holes to the side of those and then those just went right into the brackets in the back. And that's how I made it fit because now with putting those two bolts in that position, it's now not in the way of 
room of wherever I'm supposed to mount the shovel and the axe. Now it fits fine. Now it fits great. It's super tight, super secure. It's not wiggling. It's not going anywhere. And I think it looks awesome, but I wish that somebody would have thought this out just a little bit better when they were designing it that you don't really want to put bolts in an area where you know you're going to be mounting some stuff. It should be like super clear in those areas. So Smittybilt, if you are watching this, kind of maybe you want to redesign it. But other than that, now that I got it to work, you know, I think it looks freaking awesome on this Jeep. It looks like I'm ready for anything. So I'm just letting you know that if you decide to get this mount, you may have to be ready to do a little bit of modifications to it to make it fit for whatever application you have. So anyway, I hope you like it. I hope you liked the video and um, you know, I hope to see you again soon with another quick mod and we'll do another one shortly. All right, see you later. GoPro stop recording. GoPro stop recording. Dang it.